In this lesson, I'll discuss some of the most common methods that are used for the fabrication of nanomaterials. These methods can be generally subdivided into two groups, which are top-down methods and bottom-up methods. In the top-down methods, nanomaterials are derived from a bulk substrate and obtained by progressive removal of material until a desired nanomaterial is obtained. A simple way to illustrate a top-down method is to think of carving a statue out of a large block of marble. Bottom-up methods work in the opposite direction. The nanomaterials, such as a nanocoating, is obtained starting from the atomic or molecular precursors and gradually assembling it until the desired structure is formed. This method resembles building with bricks. In top-down approach, synthesis is initialized with the bulk counterpart that leaches out systematically bit after bit, leading to generation of fine nanoparticles. Some of the commonly used top-down methods for the production of nanoparticles are including photolithography, electron beam lithography, milling techniques, anodization, and iron and plasma etching. Bottom-up approach involves the coalescence or assembling of atoms and molecules to generate diverse range of nanoparticles. Examples of bottom-up approach include self-assembly of monomer-polymer molecules, chemical or electrochemical nanostructural precipitation, soldier processing, laser pyrolysis, chemical vapor deposition or CVD, plasma or flame spraying synthesis, and bioassisted synthesis. In general, nanoparticle synthesis methods can be divided in three groups, physical methods, chemical methods, and bioassisted methods. 